Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz. This is not exactly the most uplifting buzz we've ever done, but sad news. it is sad news. I mean, this could this be the end of an era? Borders Bookstores announced late yesterday they're shutting down nearly 400 locations, including seven in southern New England. What was the second largest U.S. bookstore has canceled its upcoming bankruptcy hearing and they'll be closing all 399 remaining stores for good. Now, some are actually shutting their doors this week. The final liquidation is expected to be complete by September. Thousands of workers will be losing their jobs. We're expecting, I believe, several hundred in southern New England will be out of a job. So, you know, we, we had talked about sort of this topic when we heard that some of them were closing, although Cranston had been spared for a time about what do you think of the future of bookstores? Yeah. And this obviously brings it to light again, where yeah. they're closing every single store. What do you think, Michelle? I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me. My 73-year-old aunt has a Kindle she that she does. loves. Uh -huh. So if my 73-year-old aunt it has jumped into that technology, I haven't yet. But I'm, you know, I mean, if she is, then everybody can do it, right, obviously, right. and it can enjoy it. Um, she's got Parkinson's, so one of the things that was hard for her to turn pages of her book. So mm -hmm. the fact that she can do one of those e-readers is uh, really helpful. But I mean, I just think about college and when we would go to the bookstore and drink our coffee, and yep. it was social, and it was just yeah. like part of the experience and what's going to happen if they all close. So I know. So sad. I know. I know. I don't think that they all will, but I yeah. think you're just going to see the field start to obviously get, don't you think, yeah, like I more? Think, I think a big part of it is the Borders was big for CDs too. Right? Yeah. Yes. Everyone used to yep. go get their CDs yeah, you don't there. even get CDs anymore. And you just DVDs. buy a song mm -hmm. on yeah, iTunes. Everything I know. Is, so I feel like they lost that revenue source and mm -hmm. now, you, like you said, with the Kindles and my grandmother, same thing. They are on it because they have the big font yes. mm -hmm. and it's easy for them. They don't have to go to the bookstore, right. which is nice. But I, I mean, I, it's so There's sad for me. There's still something about Absolutely. having that paper copy of a book, though. There is. You're marking the pages. Absolutely. <laughs> or and or it as a bookmark, or yeah, yeah. When somebody writes yeah. something in a book, and you can't do that on an e-reader. My mother, for the last two years, are you ready for a Kindle yet? Are you ready? I mean, every <laughs> holiday, birthday, yeah. Christmas. Yeah. It's like, are you ready for a Kindle? And I'm like, I'm not there yet. No. I don't, don't do it. First of all, I mean, I'm not reading that much because mm -hmm. you're just you're a little, little bit busy. busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know. But I think that you know the, one of the other problems with these stores, unfortunately, is that they're so open and nice. I mean, yeah. you can go in there and read whatever you want, and, not and they're not going to police you. Yeah. And I've done it. We've all done it. Like I'll go with the kids, and you know they want to look at their books, and I'll bring like a People magazine, and I'm like, brr, brr, brr. you know, we, yeah. don't don't get but me in trouble. But we all section, do it. You know? take, like, we take we take our boys to the library all the time, and you mm -hmm. even think like if bookstores are going. Is there going to be a need for a library down the road, a, a town know. library? I that, know. Things at the library are going digital yeah. too, a lot of digital. But the kids' books is what, what is the saddest yes. too because I just remember as a kid going to the bookstore, you can make a day out of it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now that I have nieces and nephews, I love going to buy them a book right. for gifts. Because and I still think there will always be some hard Parents aren't going to sit there no. with their Kindle at night reading to their kids. Exactly. Sometimes I think yeah. I think that the Kindle will come like if you're traveling on an airplane yeah. and you want to like pull up a kids book. That's going to be helpful. But mm. there's just something about like my you know son being able to touch pat the bunny yeah. and yes. you know feel mm -hmm. the soft bunny and lift up that you can't do in an e-reader. You cannot. Yeah. I think about like you know the classics like my father reading the Lorax to me mm -hmm. and I just can't imagine him going Aww. like boom. Boom, like spinning from page <laughs> right, to page, right, right. you know? Right. I don't know. But the other thing is online, you can find such good deals. So I feel like w when the economy got tough, people mm -hmm. were really looking, how do I save that extra dollar? I know, I know. And you're going to go to the site, the websites where you can and find you know the cheapest what? books. And it's all about space, too. We're in a, in a society now where we want to just, we don't want clutter. Right. And mm -hmm. when you think about what you can store on a little thing versus having shelves of stuff. That's true, too. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It's a tough call. I don't think that we're going to see bookstores all close, though. I There's got to be a few. No, but I think those big, huge box bookstores yeah. are going to have a tough time surviving. Yeah. Unless right. they come up with another way. Mm. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But, uh, Courtney, I'm sure a lot of people have an opinion about this. Is this the end of an era. You know, this has more comments than we've had on a buzz in, I, I don't know, a couple of weeks maybe, about 18 so far on our Facebook page, a couple on the live blog. Let's start there on foxprovidence.com. And Banjo says, I request all the newest books I'm interested in from the library. I go to the bookstore, see what new books interest me, then get them from the library. And Joe says, while it's sad to see Borders books go, I will not be affected because I've been downloading books on the reader for over a year now. So here's the poll. We want to know where are you guys all buying your books? A, bookstores, I enjoy the atmosphere. B, online, it's cheaper and easier. Or C, I download and read electronic books. We've also got the story 
there a little more in depth about why Borders is closing, if uh, this is the first you've heard about it. So here are some of the comments on our Facebook page. Amanda Marie says, I loved Borders. So many memories of hanging out there during my, my time at JWU with a cup of coffee and the free Wi-Fi. Marianne Ferguson says, I download books from the local library's website. Aaron Blackman says, as a 10-year employee of the store, it is absolutely awful to have to say goodbye. My thanks to all who have been so loyal to us. Many of you have become like family. We will miss you. And then a couple of other people are saying they're so disappointed and others are hoping to use their gift card pretty fast if they do close by the end of the year. Weigh in in the poll. Tell us where you buy your books and we'll have the answer for you at the end of the show. But